So, uh, Matthew's finally getting a day off. Got something a bit bigger to play with. So we've seen it from afar, we've seen it last year a little bit, well quite a lot on the clamp, but uh, got the fence over there on the uh, on the Bonin, 6155R on the K2, and like I said, <laughs> my master's having, it, having a day or two off. How have I got grease on there? Please tell me I've not got grit. How? <sighs> oh! I lost Mary. <laughs> oh! The best jokes are the random ones. So we'll get you set up and uh, we'll, we'll show you throwing a few loads on.
bit of a bird's eye view of uh, on the go with it. Um, yeah, a few little tips and tricks. I've well, I've I've been taught, so I'm kind of I'm quite happy to teach each them. Um, I, it does make a difference. Main one is. Always load uphill. The machine's more planted, gives you more confidence to, well, basically get quicker cycle times. So, no, I'm, I'm probably not the quickest on a load and shovel, I'm probably first to admit that. Um, used to drive for a living, but I have always been. More your steady sort of operator, anyway. I don't don't like abusing machines. I don't like seeing machines getting abused. Come on, this. I'm actually on, I don't know, so this day two of this, the, the intro of the video, that was actually, actually did that yesterday with the view to filming a lot more and, well, basically didn't film anymore. <laughs> Come on, you've been watching me long enough, you know how it goes. What this stuff is, it is weird stuff. It is really greasy where it's been tipped. Kind of making me have to to think and try different things just to sort of try and well, basically keep moving. That'll do it. We haven't got a lot of this left, so we'll pick this up at some point in a later point. 